Hey everybody, this is Cardboard Pie back with another Unity tutorial. I'm going to be segmenting this tutorial and making a rainbow effect on your text into three parts. This video will just be on creating the basic rainbow effect. The next video after that will be doing it on a specific string within that text. And the last video will be in the case where we have that string appearing multiple times in the same text. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we have an empty scene here. I'm just going to add UI. Go to Text Mesh Pro. If you don't have it installed, all you need to do is go to Window, Package Manager, and just download Text Mesh Pro. Once you got that settled, you'll need to do UI Text Mesh Pro. Now, if it's the first time you use Text Mesh Pro in that specific project, there'll be a whole prompt for you to download it. There'll be two things to download. Download both of those. I believe the first one's the only one that's necessary, but the second one's going to be the key to understanding how we're going to be doing our rainbow text effect. I'm going to add a component here. I'm going to add vertex color cycler. So this is what comes in that second part with the examples and extras. So if we go and right click on this text, this is essentially what we're going to be copying off of. So just to show what it does, it's going to change from skybox. I'm clicking on my camera here, I'm going to solid color. I'm just going to make this black. That way it's easier to see. And I'll adjust the text real quick. I can just fill the entire screen. I'm going to center it. I'm just going to make the text really big. Okay. So what it's going to be doing is assigning each character uh, a random color. So we can see here it's just changing color as time goes on. Pretty cool. So we're going to be using that code as a basis to build off our own code. So I'm just going to create my own gradient text effect. You can name it whatever you want. Make sure that you either uh, disable the vertex color cycler or you just remove it. I'm going to copy this code and I'll explain what part of the code we're going to be using and what each part does. Open our gradient text effect and we're just going to copy and paste it in here. See if there's any errors. So we do copy an extra bracket here. So we have an issue with our TM text. So that's a simple fix. We just do using TM Pro. If I can spell, there we go. We're not going to need collections generic. We will be using system.collections because we want to utilize this uh, I enumerator where they an animate vertex colors. So to understand what this code is doing, essentially we're getting the text mesh pro text info component and this is going to be important to get specific value or information from each character in our text mesh pro so all it's doing is it's checking if we have no characters just don't do anything and then it grabs some information about the materials and the colors for each vertex i'll put on screen what i'm talking about but each text mesh pro character is essentially a box or a square and it has four components and the vertexes accordingly and so all this is doing is applying a color, C0, it's just a random color with a random RGB255 for alpha. That's just giving us a random color there and assigning that random color to each of the vertexes. So what we want to do instead is create a gradient. So I'm going to go up here and add a gradient. So I'm just going to do serialized field. You can do a public if you want. You can do gradient, gradient text. And we're also going to add a serialized field float and this is going to be gradient speed and we're going to put this to something like 0.1 for right now okay so we're going to go on to our gradient here and it's going to bring us to the gradient here. and now i'm just going to add a rainbow effect so a rainbow i usually follow roy g biv so red orange yellow you can make this gradient whatever you want. I'm just doing more of a rainbow effect. So then it's green. Blue. Violet. You know, indigo, but I'm just going to do purple. Might be close to indigo, I'm not too sure. And then uh, this pinkish color here, and it's going to loop back. Make sure everything looks okay. All right, so now that we have our gradient text effect, we just want to get that gradient 
So I'm going to add a private int value or float value. It's going to be called total time. And all we need to do is change C0. So C0 is going to comment code above and say gradient text. Is this where we're getting our gradient from? And to get the color, we just say evaluate. And so this is kind of important to understand. So evaluate takes a, on a float from 0 to 1. Uh, so it can be 0 0.1 or 0.5. So 0.5 would get the color in the half point of the gradient. So we want to do two things. One, we want to do it with respect to time. That way the color is always changing with the gradient. And two, we need to offset it for each character. That way they're not all the same color. So to do that, it's, it's pretty easy. I'm going to create a float offset here. And that's essentially just going to be our current character divided by, I believe it's a character count. This is essentially all the characters within our text mesh pro text. That way it creates a nice ratio between zero and one. So character count. And all we need to do here is say total time plus our offset. So this way we change the gradient color with respect to time and also keeping in mind the offset for each character where it's located within our text. And then we're going to do something called modulo and then one. So essentially what this module is going to do Whatever this value is, we want it in the range from 0 to 1. And so thankfully, in C Sharp, you can do that with floats as well. That's going to be some value between 0 and 1. It can be decimals as well. And that should be it. And just remember after that to increment total time by time dot delta time. One more thing. So this has a preset wait for value. So here we can just plug in our gradient speed. And that way you can adjust how fast the it iterates through each character. So if we see how it plays, yeah, we get that color effect. Uh, it might be a little slow. I preset one was 0 0.05, so let's do 0 0.03. And now we see we get a better flowing effect. And if you do like 0.01, it goes kind of fast, but that might be the effect that you want to do. So you can just adjust that with smaller values in mind. So that's pretty much it for that. Uh, I'll talk about something really quick, but I, I won't go into it too deep. You can do something, since we're doing vertexes here, I have on screen what I'm talking about. We could have a C1 here where it's another color. And since we're coloring the vertexes, we can color the uh, left-sided vertexes one color and then we can color the right side of vertex is another color and that way we can see within the character itself there's a blend between the two colors and then we could use that c1 on the next iteration we can set that to c0 and then update only c1 that way we have blend per character itself we can have it blend uh, each character into the next because right now we're just doing it like this also, we're, I'm noticing that at the beginning it's not updating the colors, but um, if you have it at a low enough value, it should set it. But if you want to, you can do something and start where you set the colors to have that gradient effect. If you guys enjoyed this video, thanks. So in the next series, we're going to be talking about the, the issue that kind of arises from our code. So if you see rainbow text not rainbow text everything in our text box is going to be a rainbow text effect and so this is not what we want so in the next video i'm going to be talking how to tackle this issue one thing it's a uh, very slow the more text you have obviously you can adjust the uh, text speed like that but we still have that issue where there's certain parts that we don't want this text effect being applied. So in the next episode, we're going to be talking about how to deal with that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you. See you guys next time.